Tom Norris from the Hagen Ranch Road Branch of the Palm Beach County Library System. Aldous Huxley wrote Brave New World in 1931. He himself described it as a negative utopia. It forecast many societal and technological trends that are with us today. It's been included on the American Library Association's lists of banned and challenged books. Ireland brand banned Brave New World in 1932 because it was thought to be against family and religion. In 1993, a group attempted to remove the book from a California school system's required reading list because it was centered around negative activity. In this passage, the character Helmholtz Watson is in the process of discovering his individuality, always dangerous in a conformist society. He was a powerfully built man, deep-chested, broad shoulders, massive, and yet quick in his movements, springy and agile. The round, strong pillar of his neck supported a beautifully shaped head. His hair was dark and curly, his features strongly marked. In a forcible, emphatic way, he was handsome and looked as his secretary, never tired of repeating, every centimeter an alpha plus. By profession, he was a lecturer at the College of Emotional Engineering, Department of Writing, and in the intervals of his educational activities, a working emotional engineer. He wrote regularly for the hourly radio, composed feely scenarios, and had the happiest knack for slogans and hypnopedic rhymes. Abel was the verdict of his superiors, perhaps, and they would significantly lower their voices, a little too able. Yes, a little too able. They were right. A mental excess had produced in Helmholtz Watson effects very similar to those which in Bernard Marx were the result of a physical defect. Too little bone and brawn had isolated Bernard from his fellow men. That which made Helmholtz so uncomfortably aware of being himself and all alone was too much ability. What the two men shared was the knowledge that they were individuals. But whereas the physically defective Bernard had suffered all his life from the consciousness of being separate, it was only quite recently that, grown aware of his mental excess, Helmholtz Watson had also become aware of his difference from the people who surrounded him. This escalator squash champion, this indefatigable lover, it was said he had had 640 different girls in under four years. This admirable committeeman and best mixer had realized quite suddenly that sport, women, communal activities were only, so far as he was concerned, second best. Really, and at bottom, he was interested in something else. But in what? In what? Social critic Neil Postman made this observation comparing and contrasting 1984 and Brave New World. Orwell feared those who would ban books. What Huxley feared was that there would be no reason to ban a book where there would be no one who wanted to read one. 1931, Aldous Huxley, Brave New World.